Hey everybody, what is up? OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy here with another show for you today. It's going to be a real good show. Um, this is actually going to be a real quick one. Uh, it is January 12th, 2023. And for today, I want to give you a quick distinction. Um, <clears throat> first of all, sorry for, for um, missing a day. I did miss a day. And um, I, I just been, man, unbelievably busy. Um, again, thanks to all of y'all. I've been shipping like crazy. I just received nine, nine pairs of speakers from Germany, <clears throat> um, slate speakers. And oh boy, do I have something for you guys. I'm going to give you a teaser right now. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Look at this puppy. Look at this thing. It's hard for you guys to tell how little this is, but I don't have a big hand. Okay. You can see, look at the, you know, I mean, let me see what would be, oh, I don't know. I wish I had something. But anyways, you can see the scale. It's a little guy. It's a teeny weeny. It's a baby speaker. Um, little teeny guy and 100% slate. Look at that. You've never seen a small speaker built to this level. Look at the back. The back has a speak on connector, uh, a, a, an aluminum plate. I mean, this is no BS. This is built at the same level as their big stuff. And it's a little teeny guy. And uh, this is going to be my new desktop system. I got another one that's going out to California. Um, there's no way you're not getting uh, a vibration out of a box unless you make it out of stone. If you're going to make it that small, to make something that small and have it not vibrate, make it out of wood or whatever, MDF, forget about it. You know, you have to make it out of stone. So that thing is coming up. We'll do a video soon. Um, anyways, what I want to talk about is a distinction between RCA and XLR. Okay. And, and what I mean by that is um, there, are, there are different ways that you call okay this is just about naming when you're talking to somebody okay because today i had a uh client call me and he was talking and he was trying to describe about what the dac 07 was doing he was very excited about it and he was telling me well and he was talking between his transport and the dac and so forth and he was saying well when i use rca when i use xlr and um he was talking about on the input not on the output of the dac okay um, and, and it's confusing for somebody that is steeped in hi-fi like me um, or, or maybe any, anybody at the store, maybe not so much at the store, but, uh, you know, people in the know, whatever, there's a distinction. If you're using, if, if that cable is being used for digital, which is funny because I saw another, I saw another thing uh, the other day. It was on one of these uh, audio channels, things, streams that come into my Google feed. And it was saying about comparing RCA and XLR. And it was saying that sometimes RCA can be used for a stereo signal. Um, and I'm like, uh, on, on one RCA. And I'm like, well, absolutely not, unless it's being used as digital. And in that case, that's a SPDIF, okay? It's not an RCA. So let me make it nice and clear. The words RCA and XLR are analog terms, okay? So when you're talking about I'm using an RC cable, RCA cable, or I'm using an XLR cable, you are speaking about analog connections. Those same exact cables, okay, if they're used for digital, you are not going to refer to them as RCA and XLR because those terms indicate we're talking analog. If we are talking digital, we're going to refer to those as SPDIF, S-P-D-I-F, I just call it SPDIF. It's easier. SPDIF. And uh, the other one is AES-EBU. You can just call it AES, okay? Um, Audio Engineering Society, you know, that, that's what all these things mean. They're acronyms, right? Same with SPDIF. Um, so, again, RCA is SPDIF. XLR is AES. So, keep that distinction when you're describing something to somebody or you're talking about these cables that... There are certain terms you with the same damn cable. It's called something different when it's you, being used for digital, and it's called something else when it's being used for analog. So I just wanted to make that clear to you guys because it was very, very confusing for me to uh, to to try and I'm like, what are we talking about? What are we you know what are we talking about? If you haven't given my channel thumbs up, give my channel thumbs up right now, please. Super easy. It doesn't it's no skin off your back. Click the damn thumbs up, please. And then uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Um, I've got much better stuff. There's huge plans for 2024 coming up. And uh, so sign up for the channel. 
Nobody has to see it. Nobody knows if you're signed up, whatever. I know some of y'all secretly watch me all the time, but you can't stand me, but your ass watches my channel all the time. So um, subscribe anyways, and um, and uh, give me a thumbs up, and because it lets me know. That's what keeps me going. To be quite honest with you guys, um, when I see those numbers tick up, that motivates me to keep giving you guys more content. If that peters out, which it hasn't, thank God, yet, um, then that's when I know it's time to stop. Um, also go to 11 stereo, which is, uh, the website that my e-commerce site, 11 stereo. I also have Mike Powell audio.com, which is my consultation end, um, and Vera star cables. You can see all those online, but 11 stereo will link to all that stuff and come to 11 stereo. I've got a lot of great content there. There's a used market where you can buy and sell used gear from a lot of my high end clients that have kick ass stuff sitting in their closet that they're selling for peanuts on the dollar. So anyways, just wanted to direct you there. Thanks for joining. See ya. Have a great day. It's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, it is Friday. I will see you guys. <laughs>